You have to know that the reed is really integral to your sound. I cannot, I can't stress enough how important the reed is. I make reeds more than I practice, honestly. For oboe reeds, it's something that's like a constant turnover. And if you're gonna be a professional, like playing as much as professionals do, you really have to put in a lot of time, and I'm totally a control freak. <laughs> there you go. A look at the uh, great documentary, That Higher Level, and I'm joined by uh, writer-director John Bolden. Welcome, sir. And Good oboist Michelle Fung, who featured in that clip. And you love the reeds, don't you? <laughs> I, I love and I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this fascinating documentary traces uh, 100 young musicians uh, from the National Youth Orchestra of Canada across country uh, for this two-month practice tour, essentially, right? But were they competing as well? John, tell us about the uh, setup for the story. So the National Youth Orchestra of Canada happens every summer, and there's a month-long training institute and then a month-long tour. And uh, the summer that we did the documentary, which was mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, uh, it was the most ambitious tour they'd ever done. It was called the Edges of Canada Tour. It was 12 concerts all across the country. In fact, they felt it was the most, uh, they, they said it was the, probably the most ambitious tour that any Canadian orchestra had ever uh, undertaken. Um, and uh, I was asked by the National Film Board uh, if I was interested in, in making a film right. uh, about them. And I'd always wanted to make a film about an orchestra, so it was a dream come true. And Michelle, tell us about your role uh, with the ensemble. That was uh, not the first time you'd been in a group like that, right? No, um, I'd actually done that program three times before. So the year that the documentary was made, it was my fourth time doing it um, and, my, and my last time. Incidentally, and tell us about the reeds. You're an oboe player. You've got it with you here, and you were so passionate about these things, and they're integral to the sound of that instrument, right? Yes, absolutely. I, I yeah, did bring my, my reed case really with cool. a sample of some of my reeds. Um, and for people that are that are like the, for the layman that doesn't know about the oboe, what, what is the, what does the reed do? Well, the reed it's basically it's kind of the equivalent of the mouthpiece for a brass instrument. Um, it's the part that you it blows through and it creates the sound. Right. And then the rest of the oboe kind of just amplifies that sound. So it all begins with the reed. And you see that in saxophones and other similar instruments yeah, too, absolutely. right? Yeah, uh, absolutely. John, tell us about the, um, the array of subjects and characters in this film. And also, the, the musical piece that, that you guys were tackling was Strauss's Death and Transfiguration, which is such a fitting uh, piece of music, I think, for this journey that they were all taking, right? Well, the biggest challenge in making the film was you have a hundred subjects. Um, it's a documentary film, like you have a hundred subjects, and you're with them for two months, and they're actually uh, practicing and performing over a dozen pieces of music. So what do you focus on? Mm -hmm. And I decided early on that I wanted to focus on at least one student from each section of the orchestra. Michelle was one of them, representing the, the oboe section and the wind section. Um, and I wanted to focus on one piece of music in particular. And the idea was if you could get to know these students at the same time you were getting to know this piece of music that the climax of the film uh, would really would really work and uh, I, I I have to say that was probably the piece of music that I was least familiar with mm -hmm. um, and it's the one that I came to love the most and it's a really dramatic piece of music that tells a story um, and it's also a very challenging uh, piece of music uh, for the for the musicians so I felt like it was a good a good piece to, to focus on absolutely and Michelle for you I mean you're you're with these companions on this journey it gets very intimate but what was it like knowing that they could essentially one day be your competition of sorts <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's um, something that musicians come across a lot. Uh, but I have to say, I'm, I made some really good friends over at NYO, and yeah. some, some of my, actually my colleagues now, um, someone who was in the oboe section that year with, with me, Leo, right. he's going to be playing with my orchestra this year. So we've always been really good friends, and I guess... Um, a little friendly competition doesn't hurt, right? That's right. <laughs> Character building, it just, right? It makes, it makes everyone better. Yeah. I wish we had more time. We have to wrap it up there. But uh, your chance to see that higher level uh, Sunday at the Van City Theater, I urge everyone to check it out. Uh, this movie spoke to me personally because I played jazz trumpet in uh, the Vancouver College Band. So thank you guys for coming in. It's a great piece. And uh, let's get everyone out there to support it.
Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. All right, news time, uh, news time coming up, and we're going to be looking at all the ways to get you back to school safely. Stick around.